This is just a little bonus video for the series that we're working on. So we're looking at maps and locations, and so far we looked at getting addresses from G uh, addresses from GPS locations and GPS coordinates from addresses. And today we're going to be looking at getting addresses from addresses. That might seem a little silly, but could be actually useful. Again, this is a series. Hopefully there's an annotation on the screen. If not, check out the description of the video for the full playlist. And I hope you watch the first two videos because we're going to go over this quick. It's basically a mix of the two videos that we've already gone over. If you go to my GitHub page, github forward, github.com forward slash metalx1000, search my repositories for maps and locations, and under Bash you will find all the scripts for this series, and one of which is a one called formattedaddress.sh. Uh, here's an example, well, actually I should delete this here. Um, there we go. Um, so it's mixed the two, and here we're going to give it an address, but we're going to grab the address that it returns. It gives a usage example, and there's only one argument, which is the address. Let's go ahead and save that. I've already made it executable, but if you haven't already, change mod plus x, the name of the script, dot slash, the name of the script will give you the uh, output here of the example. If you haven't don't have an address uh, given already, you need to give it at least one argument, which is the address. So go ahead and I'll paste that. We'll run it. And you can see that I put in 123 Fifth Avenue South Naples, Florida. And I return and return the same address, but fully formatted. Uh, so you can see I put Ave here and it returned Avenue. I put S for South and it put South, then comma, Naples, and it put the comma, and then FL for Florida. It gave me the zip code, which I didn't even enter, and the country. Um, so this is very useful if you're getting user data. You want everything Thing to be formatted the same and users might enter addresses differently than other users. So you can use this to format the addresses they input. So if you're collecting stuff into a database, before it goes into the database, you can convert it like so. If you already have a database going, you could probably write a script that will use this to replace it all. Another good thing you might be able to use it for is auto completion on addresses. But let's go ahead and just do another example. I'll just put in uh, 321 56th Avenue, New York, New York. And there you go, it can give, gives me um, uh, the formatted address. Uh, New York, New York, it obviously is Bayside. New York is the best match there, the zip code, and the US, the country. So. Uh, I hope you found this quick little bonus video helpful. If you did, I uh, would like you to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Be sure to share it, that helps me a lot, and like it so that I know that you liked it. Uh, all, as always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. You can search through my videos there. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to FilmsByChris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night, we work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.